Hey everyone, this is Spencer Allen Ryder from SAR Global Tool. Uh, this morning I got an email from somebody that's been watching the current work in progress I have going on with the Death Valley Magazine prototype knife uh, for James Gray. And uh, the, the person emailed and asked if I could show a little more of the shop that I'm working in and all the equipment. You guys have just been kind of getting some up close and, and uh, first person views. And uh, what I got is my formerly known as my two car garage. I got a lot of machinery in here, a lot of materials, uh, you know, estimated value, I, I, I don't know, $70,000 maybe. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a much better shop than I used to have. I started in a 12 by 6 storage unit on Fort Polk when I was in the Army. Moved here in 2007, and uh, since 2008 I've been working out of this shop uh, full time. It's gone through quite a few remodels. You know, as machinery comes in, you keep building benches. And, and then just recently this year, I, I reconfigured the shop to uh, the way it looks now. And it's a pretty progressive platform. I got lots of space to move, more bench space than I ever had, even though I have more machines than I, than I did at that time. So things are always, always changing, just like, just like life. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and, and uh, I'll step back and let you get a bird's eye view of the garage and then I'll walk in and go through the different workstations. Uh, that's kind of how it's set up. And I'll, I'll explain a few things and, and uh, that should work. All right, so uh, stand by. So it's a standard uh, two-car garage, as you can see, left side, right side, and the back wall, and the uh, beat-down bench. Some stuff waiting to get uh, worked on, combs, slingshots knife designs, working on a dive knife, etc. This uh, this bench that you're, you're looking at right now is kind of my main bench. Music, AK-47, everybody needs a good AK. Uh, anyways, this is where all the design, layout, fit and finish happens here. And uh, this is where I spend a great deal of time. All my hand tools various uh, pieces of machinery, fasteners, uh, etc., chemicals. And then uh, moving over, we got the, uh, you saw this the other night in the video, it's the, it's a 24 inch deep knife maker kiln, even heat. I think it's got a maximum temperature of uh, 2200 degrees, so it can cook some stuff. Keep, uh, keep moving along and Right behind it is a precision German lathe, or German lathe. I do a lot of turning, things of that nature. Stepping back, I got my workhorse of a bandsaw, the Harbor Freighter. It's probably the standard in every knife maker shop. You can cut everything on this thing to include your arm off or fingers, whatever. So, uh, back wall. Another bandsaw, big freestanding Wilton, variable speed. That's a bead blast cabinet for shooting, shooting uh, aluminum oxide, various medias, bead blasting items, clean stuff up, etc. So I'm gonna step back this way, and uh, where you see the light shining back there is what I call the hell hole, because it gets really hot in the summer. And uh, that's, uh, that's my main drill press. I do all my precision work on, etc. cetera. The, the handles for the Death Valley Magazine knife are standing by waiting to get drilled this morning. And uh, I'll pan over. There's a large freestanding compressor for running the bead blaster and just general air in the shop. I come down, I got a, I got a portable cart. I got all my spray bottles for different various chemicals that I use, WD-40. Lots of knife blanks standing by, various other designs, unfinished, clamps, etc. Here's a buffing station I use for uh, sharpening, 
there's a scotch bright wheel for cleaning up edges contouring etc just a great great tool all the way around very dangerous but great tool and then I'll come back to the uh, the heavy wall there's my sorry excuse for a mill but uh, it's what I got and I make it work I got a couple three drill presses last one on the right the Ryobi's got a, a tapmatic tapping head for for tapping into anything I need to tap into for threaded for thread work there's a variable speed 9 inch disc grinder 2x72 horizontal grinder for uh, edge finishing variable speed as well and then there's the two grinders that pretty much where all the magic happens various contact wheels everything that's uh, basically important in the shop is set on a variable speed so I can adjust it and tune it to what I need uh, while I'm working etc just some more more bench space good selection of belts lots more in boxes just a good inventory overall back wall pan and uh, we'll come back around there's the main bench and uh, right here is kind of like I said the beat down bench got the vices file work just holding things got lots of presses on here this is where I do my kydex work etc you know this is where I make the uh, the infamous sorry clip signal systems all the dog tags there's some uh, in the works right now and there's about 500 in the box so buy a dog tag damn it anyways uh, there's another drill press there's quite a few of them in here you can't have enough drill presses <clears throat> and uh, once again just kind of panning out and anyways thanks for thanks for watching the thread and I'm enjoying myself and have a great day